Hey guys, I'm Shyam from Scal Studio. So today I'm going to show you guys how I created this animation scene in Blender. So this video is inspired by a creator called Shapiro. And um, he does it in Cinema 4D and we are going to do it in Blender. So I'm going to start off by selecting our camera and light and I'm going to delete them with X. Select our cube and here in the dimensions I'm going to make it 9 meters. And the Y axis I'm going to make it 3 meters. And now I'm going to tap in edit mode and with Control R I'm going to add two loop cuts and left click. And I'm going to add another two loop cuts horizontally with Control R. Now I'm going to switch to face select mode with 3 in the keyboard and delete the front face with X. Now I'm going to press 2, select these two edges and with F I'm going to create a whole face. F, select, F. And now I'm going to delete the bottom three faces. I'm going to tap back into edit mode and select these faces in face select mode and delete the faces with X. And now I'm going to name this collection base collection because we're going to be creating multiple duplicates of this. So I'm going to hide it for now and with shift A I'm going to add a collection instance. So the thing about instances is once you make any changes to the base collection it automatically changes the instance. Now I'm going to grab this instance and scale it with S multiplied by 3 and uh, shift D to duplicate it and rotate it using R X minus 90 and also I'm going to scale it down. You can scale it down from here as well. I'm going to type 1 here and now I'm going to press G Z and pull it down while pressing control so that it snaps to the grid. Now I think I'm going to go to wireframe mode and I'm going to select everything and move it in the Z direction with GZ and move it so that it fits right on top of our 3D cursor right here so that it makes things a lot easier when I'm scaling and rotating. Also make sure you save your project every now and then just a bonus tip for you guys. Also before I start animating I'm going to go to edit preferences and in the animations tab over here I'm going to put the default interpolation to linear which is going to make our animation a lot smoother. Now with shift A I'm going to add an empty uh, empty plane axis and I'm going to select the two instances first and then I'm going to control select the empty and with control P I can set a parent. Now here I'm going to add 179 keyframes to the animation and go to the first tab select our empty and with I I'm going to add a rotation location scale uh, keyframe and go to the 180th frame and uh, I'm going to make the scale 3 and add another keyframe with I location rotation scale. So if you guys play the animation you can see so far it's kind of looping but this is not what we're going for so I'm going to add another empty and I'm going to pull it here to the edge while pressing control but then you might have to eyeball it but I think it should be something like minus 4.5 if you take my measurements and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this uh, base no the empty on top and control select the empty in the bottom and with alt p I'm going to parent that. So now we have this hierarchy going on. And now on the first frame, I'm going to add a rotation scale keyframe with I and move to the 180th frame. And I'm going to change the rotation in the X axis to minus 90. Just 90, I mean, not minus 90. 90. And uh, I'm going to press I again and add a rotation scale keyframe. And now if you play the animation, we have something going on like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this middle instance and I'm going to duplicate it again. And I'm going to rotate it with 
rx minus 180 and scale it down with s divided by 3 and move it while pressing control in the y axis so that it sticks to the grid like this so you can see since it's already parented uh, it looks totally fine when you play the animation so i think i need another instance so i'm gonna duplicate that instance and i'm gonna clear the parent with alt p and clear the parent and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move the playhead to the 180th frame you guys can see it fits perfectly in the spot and now what i'm gonna do is select the base mesh and control select the empty base mesh control select the empty and control p and parent it again and now if you play back the animation it works so so that's a quick and easy way for you to add more instances so right now it looks fine so i think it'll look okay once i add the camera and because the animation looks kind of smooth so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select the top empty here and i'm gonna move it minus 70 meters to my left and i'm gonna select my main instance and with shift s i'm gonna add the cursor to selected and now shift a add my camera i'm gonna add the rotations to zero and i'm gonna move this back a bit with the in the z direction like that maybe move it a bit more in the y-axis with gy and now if we play the animation uh, looks okay yep it's looping so it looks fine if you feel like the animation is too slow you can play with the keyframes in the animation section and uh, you can increase it the way you want but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhide the base mesh and I'm gonna show you how these instances actually work so if I make any changes to the base mesh we made at the start of the video you can see it all affects to the instances so i'm going to undo all of that and you can also see if i add objects to that main base mesh or base collection uh let's add the cylinder and okay i think i added it in the wrong place so i'm going to delete that and uh, i'm going to select this and add the 3d cursor with shift s again and now i'm going to add a cylinder now if you see, I'm gonna scale this, rotate it and scale it down a bit. Move it somewhere here, like that. And you can see it applies to the, all, all the instances. So yeah, so this is something that I'm not gonna do in this video. So I'm not going to actually populate the scene with models, textures and lighting in this video because it's all personal taste and also I like to see what you guys make with this scale loop setup. And I have other videos about lighting and textures in the links above or in the descriptions below. Uh, you can check them out and uh, you can figure out how to light this scene the way you like. And if you guys really want me to make a video on how I populated the scene with my models and textured and uh, did my lighting for this uh, scene you can actually leave a comment below if I get like 50 comments I think I might actually do a video and uh, I think or else you guys can find other videos in my channel on how to do it so if you guys want me to make a video on this just leave a like uh, leave a comment below and I will actually think about making it if you create this scene tag me on Instagram so I could see your work and maybe leave some feedback as well and you can follow me on Instagram I upload most of my work there before I upload on YouTube so I have a lot of videos like this in my channel so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the next video see you guys